Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Juan Melinda Pereira. Good evening. About 10 years ago, when my two sons were about, uh, about to become teenagers, they were so into movies like uh, Planet of the Apes, The Lord of the Rings, and superhero movies. They loved the special effects. The talking apes, the funny creatures, the towers, the steel men, and so on. Until, until they saw the making of the respective movies. You know, the making of the Planet of the Apes, the making of Lord of the Rings, the making of Jumanji, and so on. And they found out, they saw that the talking apes were just men with blue costumes connected to sensors. And those backgrounds were all blue backgrounds and actually shot indoors in studios and then later uh, added graphically. They were very disappointed. I remember my, my sons watching those making of the movies and saying how stupid they look. And, and I also remember my son saying, I wish they don't show the, the making of the movies. They are taking the magic away and show how fake they are. It is cheating. This is what we do to ourselves every day, each moment. We are the directors of our own films. Name and form and consciousness gives us the movie. But the special effects are the prolific conceptualization. It is called papancha in Pali. The inner ramblings, the exaggeration, our imagination breaking loose and running riot. In other words, the, the graphical mumbo jumbo. In his book, Concept and Reality, uh, Venerable Katukurinde described, uh, describes Papancha as the final stage in the process of sense cognition concerning the grosser conceptual aspects of the process. The tendency towards proliferation in the realm of concepts. Papancha is referred to as the expansion and diffusion of thoughts in the verbal as well as mental uh, realms. Actually, it is referred to as the transformation from verbal to mental sphere. And that is why in Zen we are taught, taught the, the importance of cutting off thinking, making the mind clear, correct view, giving a rise to correct situation, current relationship and correct function, helping all beings. In the Anuruddha Sutta, the Buddha adds the eighth Mahapurusa Vitaka, or the thought of great man to Anuruddha seven, and it, concern, and it concerns Papancha. This Dharma is for the one who likes and delights in Nipapancha. That's the opposite of Papancha, not for one who likes and delights in Papancha. In the Madhupindika Sutra, the process of Papancha is explained in detail. Perception distorts the real picture somewhat, but this picture is fully crystallized by concepts and ideas with language or the voices in our heads. In other words, the special effects. We give graphical shapes and colors to the blue backgrounds and men's in blue costumes. And these concepts are connected to the three periods of times and we are tossed here and there by our own concepts between these three realms. Little by little, thoughts gather momentum and we are overwhelmed by them. This danger is referred to as like the legendary resurrected tiger which eats the magician who restored it to life out of its skeletal bones. The concepts and linguistic conventions overwhelm the worldling who evolved them. 
In other words, we ourselves become victims to our own conceptual thoughts. So like my son said, if we see the making of our own movies in our heads, the blue backgrounds and the blue costumes, we can control ourselves from clinging and grasping the very scenes and characters in our heads. Most importantly, to stop ourselves from adding elusive and unnecessary special effects. With correct view, our actions become correct. We will not go jumping off buildings like in the superhero movies because we know now what they are. In the Madhupindika Sutra, the Buddha says, if O monk one neither delights in nor asserts nor, asserts, nor clings to that which makes one subject to concepts characterized by the prolific tendency, then that itself is the end of proliquity is to attachment, aversion, views, perplexity, pride, ignorance, and attachment to becoming. That itself is the end of taking the stick, of taking the weapon, of quarreling, contending, disputing, accusation, slander, and lying speech. Here is that all these evil unskilled states cease without residue. So this, this is the release from, bond, from the bondage of concepts itself, is itself the end of suffering. Without making you think too much and trigger the blue backgrounds and many, many blue costumes in your movies that is going on right now, let me leave you with these words by Master Sung San. If you cut off thinking, then there is no mind. If you are thinking, you have opposites, good and bad, enlightened and unenlightened. But if you cut off thinking, there are no opposites. There is only the absolute. Thank you.